or the presidency has described recent comparisons supposedly made by Nigerians between President Muhammadu Buhari and acting President Yemi Oshimbajo as the work of mischief makers who do not wish the country well. Special advisor to the president on political matters, Baba Femi Ujudu, says the Buhari administration is a joint ticket because both principles were elected based on the party's manifesto and are committed to implementing it. But should there be any comparison? Joining us from our Abuja studio is a public affairs analyst and APC chieftain, Mohamed Lawal. It's good to have you join us on the news, uh, Mr. Lawal. So tell us why you think in the first place Nigerians are making this comparison between a President Buhari and acting President Yemi Oshimbajo. Well, thank you very much. Uh, as uh, the special advisor to, to the president said, the ticket is a joint ticket. And uh, there is no basis for people to say that, you know, the acting president is working outside the mandate, you know, or the understanding of the president. He said it. He consults the president from time to time. And uh, whatever people see him doing, that is novel and good and German and also in tune with the aspirations of Nigeria is as a result of what they have planned and agreed to execute with the president before the president left. You know, I know, and many Nigerians know, things that are bringing positive results cannot be planned, organized within a month. If you are talking about the improvement in the economy, or the improvement in the delivery of uh, crude oil at the Niger Delta. These things take time. Mr. Vice President is not uh, a magician for him to come last month and then, you know, achieve this remarkable result. What is happening now is as a result of continued initial effort by the two of them, you know, and the other supporting you know, advisors of the government, the ministers inclusive. So, and you know very well, you cannot, uh, if, we, if we express it very logically and naturally, you cannot just wish to eat, for example, to Eba or Amala and expect it to be ready in one or two seconds. It takes time. That is what we call the algorithm of the preparation. So what people, what Nigerians are seeing is as a result of plans, a consistent plan. All right, has Mr. Been... Lowell. Hmm? Has there been any, let, being objective about this now, and has there been any reason or significant difference between the results that we've seen in the workings of the two men? Pardon me, wait, come on again. Has there been any significant difference in the way we see results from the two men? Well, as I told you earlier, there is, the result you are seeing emanates from plans and the works and decisions taken earlier before the president left. The, uh, the acting president may have his own ways oh. of doing things. And I can say it's it doesn't need to be the same as uh, the way President Buhari does his things. But what is important is the result and what comes out of it. Okay, and still, so talking about, still talking about results, what do you make of the arguments that the acting president is more sympathetic to the plight of Nigerians uh, as a result of the recent injection of funds into Forex resulting into uh, the drop in the rate of the dollar? Sympathetic to Nigeria as far as the dollar is concerned. It is not the vice president or the acting president who initiated the injection. You know, the, 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 uh, the 20 or so economic uh, plans that he announced, this has been on the table quite long before the president left the country. And uh, let me tell you one thing. Mr. Acting President is a very careful person, is a very loyal person. He will make statements because it is the mistake makers and some 
politicians that are very adversary, that are adversarial to, you know, Mr. President, that are trying to cause political friction between the two, you know, gentlemen. <laughs> but uh, Vice President Yemi Osibanjo is an astute lawyer, a very loyal person, a very careful person. I assure you, if this thing continues, if the politicians continue to make noise so that they put wage, so that they create problem between he and his boss, he will come and make statement, and it will clear it will clear the face of everybody. Look, if you recall, there was one time when they were insinuating that he became the vice president on his own. When the noise became unbearable, he came out and told the whole country that he was made. Somebody nominated him to the president. And uh, it is not his own making that he became the vice president. So I assure you, even this time, he will come. Very soon he will come and make a statement because uh, mischief makers are on the parole and uh, they are making all sorts of noise in order to see that you know, they create problem or they create political sense within the country. Recall when, he, when, he was, when the ticket was on. Was on air to say that why should we accept to be the vice president of uh, President Mubari? So also said uh, Ben Bruce Mori. But now it is the same Femi Panikayode and Ben Bruce Mori that are talking and shouting and making noise that Osiban Joe is this and that. That he's coming, you know, as acting vice president is the best thing that can happen to this country. Well, we've they also had. We've also had some kind of respite from the several attacks from Niger Delta militants. This can be attributed to the acting president's several visits to the Niger Delta area, can't it? In fact, let me, let me tell you one thing. There is an increase in the production of uh, crude oil to 2.1. Do you want to tell me the effort that brought that increase started a month ago? It's no, it cannot be so. You know, even before the president left, there were discussions, there were, you know, committees working and meeting, you know, on the Niger Delta issue. And all these things that you are seeing can, cannot be started, you know, a month ago for them to materialize today. What you are seeing is Osibanjo has his own way of, you know, projecting himself and doing his things. It may be different from that of President Muhammad Buhari. But all what you are seeing is with the consent, and it's a plan that you have been planning. You know, it's only the execution now that the vice president is doing. And I tell you, he will come and tell you. He will be on the air to tell the whole country that whatever is happening is the teamwork. They are planning it, they agreed to do it. And what may be novel from what they have agreed earlier, he told us he used to clear it with the president. They speak every day. And I assure Nigerians, you know, they shouldn't uh, give their mind to people that are wanting to create, you know, mischief, that are wanting to overheat the political space. Oshibanjo is a very loyal person. He's doing everything in relation to the governance as far as what they have agreed to do between him and Mr. President. And whatever is new, he clears it before he does it. It's oh. a joint ticket. Mm. So the... Um, all right, Mr. Mohamed Lawa, we'll leave it here for now and hope indeed that this positive trend will continue even when the president comes back to the country. Thank you very much for joining us on CBC News on Nigeria.